I wonder if senior people, you know, old, old ladies, old men like me, if they think or do they feel like I do? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm telling you right now, my uh, my OT therapist and my PT therapist were both here today. It's all I can do to do those exercises that the physical therapist wanted me to do. I can't. My left leg, I can stand up off of my wheelchair and I can stand up but and I can stand on one leg while I'm holding on my right leg but I can't stand on my left leg it wants to collapse my knee wants to give out I don't know if I'll ever walk again. I'm going to start exercising more. But the fact that I can't keep this shoe, it's not really, it's a slipper that I had to modify because I got this big bandage on my foot all the time. I can keep the shoe on my right foot, but as I'm scooting around, that left shoe comes off. And most of the time, when it does it, when it comes off, <clears throat> I don't really, since I'm so numb in my feet from this neuropathy, I don't feel it when it comes off. And I'll be scooting around and I'll look down there and all of a sudden, hey, my shoe ain't on that left foot and I have to backtrack to find the shoe. Sometimes it's all the way in the other room. I, I want to get out. I didn't get outside today because it was raining just a little bit. And <sighs> I don't know. It's just the same for. No, it ain't the same for a lot of old people. Could look at Miss Kitty, my nurse. She's 70. She gets around. When she's changing the bandage on my foot, she sits down. She plops down in the floor. Easy peasy. And she gets back up. Easy peasy. I couldn't move that good when I was, I could get down and get up. But somewhere in, in my 70s, if I fell down or something, it was, I could still get up, but it was really hard. But it finally got to where I couldn't get up on my own free will. And I watched these videos on YouTube about how to get up if you fell down. Well, 
they got good pointers about it. But I don't have the strength to do the moves that they're doing. Most of the time, what they show you if you fell down, they were showing you rolling over on your belly in the process of getting up. Well, if I fall down, I'm usually laying on my back. It's extremely hard for me to roll over. I mean, heck, when I'm in the bed, I want to sleep on my side. I can roll over to my, let's see, I'm there. I can roll over to my left, but it's really, really hard for me to do that. And I like, I like to sleep on that side. I can't even roll over on my right side. Oh. Uh, but actually I'm supposed to sleep on my back with my feet up on that wedge pillar I showed you in another video. And the last, every once in a while, I'll roll over on my left side. And uh, sleep like that. I'm more comfortable that way. But, matter of fact, I may sleep on my left side tonight. But I just feel like I'm wasting away. I got to get my butt out there and get that electric wire and stuff ready to go to the scrapyard. <sighs> the VA is really letting me down on I, I need orthopedic shoes that I can wear. And the only one that can get order me the shoes is a dadgone podiatrist. And I don't have an appointment with the podiatrist until July. And uh, matter of fact, I want to, I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna look that up right quick. Go first, stop recording. You know what, I'm looking right now at my appointment schedule on... I had an appointment April 1st in Gainesville for him, uh, hematology fellow something. I didn't know that. I got a lab appointment on March 25th. Okay, I kept that. That was on the 25th of March. Uh, it said I completed that. Uh, I had another one on the 18th of March at Gainesville. I didn't know that. I'm not showing. I'm not showing anything for room for podiatrists. I'm supposed to have one in July. Heck, they tried to set it up for September. And the podiatrist is the only one that can order me the cotton picking shoes. 
I need it now. I don't need it in in July or September. They're really screwing me around. And they 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 have they have shorted me on some of my meds. Especially my uh my they're supposed to be sending me that fish oil stuff. I'm supposed to be taking two of them every morning. I don't have any. I'm 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 completely out of needles and insulin that I'm supposed to take forty units every morning. So I'm out of that, but my daughter is no longer on insulin, and uh, she has a bunch of insulin pins, the same stuff I've been taking, these things here, and uh, she has about 10 or 15 of these, and... Uh, so I'm using that. If it wasn't for that, those, I wouldn't be having any instant to take. So I don't, I, I, you know, it's, it, the, the VA has got good points. But they got a lot more bad, worse points. They got, there's a lot more, more cons than there is pros. I'm talking about the pros and cons. This thing here, I was really glad to get this. Now, if nobody's here, I don't feel in trouble because I can always get help. But it ain't worth a teetotally damn if I'm out on my scooter riding around, unless I happen to know the address where I'm at, because when you punch this blue button, it dials 911. The 911 operator comes on, wants to know your emergency and your location. And if I'm out riding around, I can't give them my address. I can maybe give them an idea but here in the house, if something happens, I know the address. It's 846. Is it 846 or is it, is it, uh, I don't know why I can't keep that straight in my head. It's 846 Northeast 31st. Remember that, Dauber, 846. But now if I'm down the street somewhere, I don't know the address, unless it just happens to be a house number or something like that, and I know the street I'm on, like my street. But above all, from those side streets, I don't know the address. So it's not worth it. They're not, and they don't have GPS on them. It's basically what, the way this works, it's a cell phone, but it only dials 911 and uh, it, and it doesn't have a number that if it lose con that, that that 911 can dial me. I don't think it does where they can dial me back but you can't make calls but all you, all you can do is push the button for 911. But they're screwing me around. Now, they've sent me a bunch of gauze and bandages, but the gauze they sent me should have been the, 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 the three-inch wide gauze. They sent me the two-inch. Plus, the tape is about three inches wide, and it... It was a pretty big roll, but they only sent me one roll of that, and I'm just about out of that. 
So I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know. Uh, maybe I can call the, the VA and, and get some. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try that Monday. But they're, they're screwing me around. I need those special shoes. I see them now. I, I need them now. Because what's going to happen if I don't be real careful is this shoe is going to slip off my foot. And I'm not going to know it. Or I might be walking with my walker and it comes off and I try to correct it and I fall. I overcorrect or something. So it, it, they're letting me down. Uh, but I, I, the shoe I need bad. I'm going to go outside tomorrow and, and try to get out there and work with some of that scrap stuff I got to get straightened out and get it ready to go to the, to the scrapyard. Uh, plus, this, 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 uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, I like the fact that I go on here and check, but I'm seeing appointments on this thing that I didn't even know I had, especially those at Malcolm Randall Hospital. That's the, the VA hospital in Gainesville, and Gainesville's 30 miles away. Now, I do know I have an appointment at the infection doctor on Tuesday. And that's what's the date of that. Let's see, on Tuesday, it is the 16th. I know I have that, but that's not a VA doctor, but he was a doctor at the hospital and the VA was paying him, but he's the infection doctor which I'm glad glad to be going mad. I, I, I don't even know, uh, I don't even know how that is healing on the bottom of my heel. I don't know, I can't see it. I'm gonna try to get Jennifer to take a picture of it and let me see what it's looking, is it healing? Is it still an open wound? I don't know. Now that little wound on the top of my foot, uh, on top of my foot, it looks like it's healing up good. And I just found out the other day, Jennifer, Jennifer blames Oak Crest Rehab, that last, the rehab I was in before I was in the hospital this last time, the one where my friend was worked there, the one I've known for 25 years or more, uh, she blames Ocala Oaks for that thing, because I told her, I said, I wish I could go back to Ocala Oaks for about a week. But she said, not a good idea. What do you mean? Well, that's what happened to your heel. No, my heel was sore. There was no open wound. I didn't get the open wound till I come back home and had an appointment at the VA doctor. And she looked at it and she said, that's infected. So it, I was having a heel problem before I ever went to Ocala Oaks. And uh, I, I don't have any problem at all with my right foot, but it's his left foot. And the fact that it was a MRSA infection that's a nasty 
nasty, as you call a virus or whatever, that's a nasty infection to get. And uh, if it got, the thing is, when I went, the doctor said it's infected. She was worried, is it, is it got into the bone yet? Because if it gets into the bone, you're looking at maybe having to lose a, a foot or most of your leg. I didn't know that. So, and that's what all the hellabaloo was about when I couldn't figure out why, when, when I was in the hospital the last time, in about a week, they was ready to send me to rehab. And it, it kept on getting put up, put up, because uh, you, uh, uh, <laughs> you two, no, not YouTube. The VA was dragging their feet about putting me in rehab. They wouldn't, hadn't approved it. And so, in other words, I, I was ready to go home in a week, but I stayed an extra two weeks. Why? Because the VA was involved in it. They too, take too dang long. It's like they don't know what an emergency is. And me needing a darn shoe that I wear on this foot is because of the, I had a MRSA infection down there. It's it's a daggone important that I don't mess around here and get this thing infected again. And I took my last antibiotic pill yesterday, so I'm totally off of antibiotics, but I go to the doctor on Tuesday to see maybe he'll put me back on it. I don't know. And also what I'm afraid of he is not the VA. Are they going to want to charge us something for that visit? Because we don't have it. My, my uh, Walmart, paydays at Walmart's every two weeks. Well, this, and that's on Tuesdays. And this Tuesday, that's the week that they don't get paid. They get paid the following Tuesday. So we don't have it. She has to keep at least enough money to put gas in the car because they have to drive. They have to drive to work. They have to drive work back home. Plus, weekdays when Jaden goes to school, she has to take him to school, and she has to pick him up at school. That's burning gas. But that's a necessary thing, you know, to, to, to do that. But, uh, we, <laughs> I just, I, that's why I'm, Want so bad to be able to earn two or three hundred dollars a week a month from YouTube. That was my goal. That was my only goal. Uh, to earn a couple of hundred dollars a month to help out. Of course, now I need, if push comes to shove, I need more than that because. You know, they raised our rent from $950 to $1,300. Uh, and the cotton picking lights, I don't know why our bill is so... Well, I know that I have to sleep with a light on. It's not a bright light, but I have to sleep with the light on because if I get up and try to stand up in the dark I'm I'm wanting to fall I'm losing my balance I have to see and to turn the light on I have to get up and walk over to the switch 
and turn it on, or you walk over and turn this lamp on, it's on now. Uh, I, you know, I feel bad about complaining about it, but I'm, I made my bed and I'm having to sleep in it. So I really ain't got no business complaining. But I never thought, I never thought in a heartbeat that Jennifer would need, would, would need help maintaining this household. I never thought that we'd be dependent on Donovan to contribute the same amount to the household that Jennifer is. I never thought she would need my social security. Which, I don't mind that, but when it first started out, she would take $600 of my Social Security and I would keep 150 But now the situation changed so much and everything went up so much that uh, I, 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 don't, I don't get anything. You know, the only thing I get is what I get from my YouTube subscribers, which is not much, but, you know, it's certainly appreciated. Uh, and she, uh, she occasionally can buy me stuff, like this last GoPro camera that she bought. She bought it. She bought it. And this this is about the third GoPro camera I've had. And actually, to run my channel, my YouTube channel, the way it's supposed to run, I need two cameras, which I've got one. I've got a camcorder and a YouTube. Uh, but there's some other stuff I need. I need a tripod. I need... Uh, different things, you know, to run this channel the way it's supposed to run. But I can't afford it. Um, but I will get a check this end of this month from YouTube. Right now it looks like I'll get about $125 or $130. Um, my, it's going to be more because um, uh, that's why I keep putting up these videos. Every little bit helps. Uh, I never thought she'd be dependent on Donovan. Well, she would depend on for him to contribute something, but he pretty much puts his whole check, I mean, he keeps a little bit for himself, but he should. And Donovan, I'm just amazed that he takes care of me like he does. And he doesn't complain. The days the nurse don't come, he, he's the one changes the bandages on my foot. If I'm having trouble standing up or something, he's the one comes in here and helps me. Uh, and doesn't complain. But now, boy, he... If... If... Some, some little incident comes up or something, he 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 very irritable about certain things, but that's part of that cerebral palsy that he has. 
Um, Jaden, he's a pain in the butt, but he, you know, if I'm sitting here and I don't feel like getting up and walking in there and get me a, a, a bottle of water or go fill me a bottle up with water, or he does it. And if I see the cats wore things out, I tell him to do it, he does it. But a lot of times when I have to do something, he'll do it. But usually the first thing he says when I ask him, hold on a second. <laughs> and by the way, I'm going to try to round him up tomorrow and get him to me and him to have a talk for about 30 minutes or so about whatever. Uh, he ain't gonna want to, but I'm, I'm gonna push the issue. But anyhow, that's what's going on. And I can't figure out, look at this sleeve. I, what, it's like my sleeve rotted or something on that, and this is a fairly new shirt. I don't know what happened there. But this is one of my Ricky Lance shirts. It's my dirt, and I'm digging in it. It's my dirt, and I'm digging in it. I ain't dug in no dirt here lately. Anyhow. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm just slipping away slowly. Maybe not slowly. Anyway. That's my story, folks, and I'm sticking to it. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. GoPro, stop recording.